Cheyenne, Oklahoma. Cheyenne is a town in Roger Mills County, Oklahoma, United States. The population was 801 at the 2010 census. It is the county seat of Roger Mills County. Cheyenne is the location of the Battle of Washita River, also called Battle of the Washita, Washita Battlefield, Washita Massacre, where George Armstrong Custer apostrophe S-70 H-U.S. Cavalry attacked the sleeping Cheyenne village of Black Kettle on the Washita River on November 26, 1868. During the 1970s Cheyenne and the surrounding area benefited from the natural gas and oil development in the Panhandle Hugoton Field, the largest volume gas field in the United States, and the world's largest known source of helium. Between 1973 and 1993 the field produced over 8 trillion cubic feet, 230 million cubic meters, of gas. The Cheyenne High School girls 6-on-6 six six basketball team of 1985-1986-1987 won three straight state Class A titles going 88-4 over that time, including winning their last 42 games. Prior to the 1985 season, the team had won only two district titles in 20 years, and had never been to the state tournament. The 42-game streak included the last half of the 1986 season and all of the 1987 season going 30-0. The four loses were by a combined five total points. After winning their third straight title, the Lady Bears, coached by David Sanders, tied a record that stood for 49 years, held by Bing, 1936-1937-1938. For their first title in 1985 Cheyenne went 29-2, including winning their final 23 games, and defeated Lakiba Sickles, 45-42. In the championship. The following season, they shot 73.0% from the field for the year, went 29 2 again, and beat Amber Picasso at 61 49 in the championship game. In the final championship game of the three year run, the undefeated Bears beat the 1980s best Class A team, the Thomas DeRirettes, 65 42. Cheyenne was led by Jody Fisher, 26.7 points per game, Cindy Smith, Jenny Shockey, Lena Burroughs and Sherry Hillman, also contributing one season each to the three-year run, Julie Barton, 1985, Lori Sanders, 1987, and Cindy Hay, 1987. Fisher, Hillman, Burroughs were named to the 1985 and 1986 Class A Girls All-Tournament team. In the first round of the 1986 Finals Fisher scored 52 points against Macomb, setting an Oklahoma State Girls Basketball Tournament single-game scoring record. Fisher ended the three state tournament games with 121 points, needing just eight more to tie Thomas's Kelly Leitch's tournament point record, and was named to the 1986 Class A Girls All-Tournament first team. Fisher was also named to the Daily Oklahoman Super 6 team for 1987, and Coach Sanders was named the 6-on-6 six -six Coach of the Year that same season. BC Scouting Service rated Fisher as the top women's basketball recruit in the state of Oklahoma for the 1987 season and she was named an All-American Honorable Mention by USA Today. For the 1987 Class A Girls All-Tournament first team Cheyenne had three of the six selections, forwards Jody Fisher and Cindy Smith, and guard Cindy Hay, Thomas had two, forward Stacy Leish, scored 100 points in three state tournament games and is Kelly's little sister, and guard Dina Garner. Jonna Ellis, of Tupelo received the other selection. Fisher went on to play for the Oklahoma State Cowgirls where she tied a school record for career games played with 124, with Lisa McGill and Liz Brown. She also set the OSU record for field goal percentage in a season with 61.3% in the 1990-91 season. She left OSU ranked second in block shots, 77, number 8 on the all-time rebound list, 525. 16th in field goals made with 334, collected 113 career steals from 1987 to 1991, 18th, 20th in career assists 150, and 823 career points, 20th on the school's all-time scoring list. She tied a school record for rebounds by an individual in an NCAA tournament game with 12 against DePaul in the opening round game in 1991. On January 24, 1990, Fisher scored 23 points in a 99-94 win over the Oklahoma Sooners. She was on the 1991 OSU team that made it to the Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament, the first OSU team to make it that far, and averaged 10.9 points a game that season.
2010-2013 Cheyenne Bears. The Bears also made a historic run as area champions and state qualifiers in men's basketball from 2010 to 2013, winning a state championship in 2012 and state runner-up in 2011. Cheyenne is located at 35.612409, minus 99.673797, just south of the Washita River. According to the United States Census Bureau, the town has a total area of all of it land. Cheyenne is located on U.S. Highway 283 SH 47 north of Sayre. As of the census of 2000, there were 778 people, 356 households, and 196 families residing in the town. The population density was 784.6 people per square mile, 303.4 per square kilometer. There were 417 housing units at an average density of 420.5 per square mile. 162.6 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the town was 97.04% white, 0.64% African American, 0.64% Native American, and 1.67% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.19% of the population. There were 356 households out of which 26.4% had children under the age of 18 living with him. 45.5% were married couples living together, 6.2% had a female householder with no husband present, and 44.7% were non-families. 42.7% of all households were made up of individuals and 24.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.08 and the average family size was 2.87. In the town, the population was spread out with 22.1% under the age of 18, 6.8% from 18 to 24, 24.3% from 25 to 44, 23.8% from 45 to 64, and 23.0% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 43 years. For every 100 females, there were 97.0 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 87.6 males. The median income for a household in the town was $25,313, and the median income for a family was $37,159. Males had a median income of $25,156 versus $17,500 for females. The per capita income for the town was $16,428. About 15.3% of families and 18.4% of the population were below the poverty line, including 25.7% of those under age 18 and 11.7% of those age 65 or over. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.